previously on the Vegan Drag Queen. What should a vegan eat when they want to feed their muscles? First of all, we're gonna make Daterade. How do we make Daterade? <laughs> So good. You know who else does dates and water? Who's that? Dolphins. <laughs> so we're kind of doing uh, three episodes in one here. So that was our data raid. Now we're going to show you how to make the cashew milk, which we're later going to use for our... Tune in next time to find out. That's right. So let's make some cashew milk. Okay, perfect. So lid off. Always lid off. the best Take step. your tops off, ladies. <laughs> Always the best step. Um, these are raw, unsalted cashews, okay. which is how you should do it. I also love the taste of like roasted peanut butter, and I can't do almonds, but like roasted cashew butter. Um, but the problem with any nut that goes over, I believe it's 90 degrees, but I, uh -huh. I'll, we'll stick with 120 because that's what raw diets are. But in chemistry... Um, we learned that when nuts are heated too high, the fats actually turn to trans fats, which are really bad. Uh -oh. So we really don't actually want to do that. So if we can't avoid it, I mean, don't like go out and like throw everything away that you've got in your kitchen. And if you have roasted nut butter, don't freak out. But if we can do more raw nuts, raw it's nuts. definitely better yeah. for our body. So these are raw. So we're going to go, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take a cup, this is a little half cup, and a scoop half cup each into here. Mind me. You're making a mess every day. I am. Don't judge me. I swear. I'm so sorry. Who do you think is going to come and clean this up? I'm not cleaning it up. Okay. Hazel's got the day off. <laughs> well, maybe maybe little doggy will come over or something. Okay. Okay, so that is two or two half cups. So one cup. So one cup. One cup. Or two okay. halves. <laughs> a run. Two halves makes a whole cup. One whole cup. One cup. One cup. There you go. So then we do... Three cups of water. Three cups of water to one cup of cashews. That's right. And again, if you don't, if you don't have a Vitamix, this is not the end of the world. There are two options outside of the Vitamix. One, you can soak these beauties overnight. You don't want to let them soak for too long because if they start to turn purple, it's bad. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And the second option is if. You don't have Vitamix, but you have a blender, and you don't want your milk so thick or things like that. You can a add more water, or b use like a cheesecloth and strain it. Mm -hmm. So those are your options. Excellent. I personally do it like this because I don't mind. I like it the way that it comes out with Vitamix. It's so perfect. for our cashew milk, are we going to strain it? Or are we going to leave the cashew pulp we in there? We can just leave it in there. Beautiful. Because the cashew baby. is a softer nut, mm -hmm. so it actually I think breaks down a little better. It doesn't it does. leave you the kind of pulp that almonds do. Mm -hmm. So and if it's ever too thick, you just add more water. Oh wait, one more thing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, was I forgetting cinnamon? Were you forgetting my, cinnamon? What, was I lost my mind? Obviously. So, oh, again, we're just going to cover this. <clears throat> you know, I know you like... A lot of cinnamon. <laughs> so do I. Perfect. So I just kind of covered the top, but you can do it to, to taste. If you don't like cinnamon, don't put it in. Okay. And... I'm not done. Sorry. Oh, we need cinnamon for sweetness. That's right. So, a lot of recipes will say you can use honey or agave. Honey's not vegan. Um, and I like agave, but I love dates. Who so doesn't? I'm just gonna put two in, and we'll because I don't like my milk too sweet. I don't okay. Know about you, but so just two of these smaller dates. Make okay, sure there's no three or four. Like just like a lot, you, know, you know, two dates. There, boom. Two. Just two. There's only two. Okay. And now, my beauties, we may blend. Now you gotta keep your top on, ladies. That's keep right. your top on. Put it on tight. Lock so, it down. We are gonna turn this to the lowest variable setting and. There we go, it's the world's slowest blender for now. And there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. So now we've got Let me grab a glass. our cashew milk. Oh, that smells delicious. It smells, I hate to say this, it doesn't sound like a compliment. It smells really fattening. <laughs> It smells really fattening. It does. Oh, it smells good. Here we <laughs> okay. go. Beautiful. Oh my god, I would love to put that in some coffee. At right? Oh my god, I'm gonna get a glass. Too. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I want a latte just for this. You can also, sorry, it's dripping. Mm -hmm. You could also use this and throw in some frozen bananas and make banana ice cream, banana cashew ice oh, cream. Good call. With some vanilla, which also vanilla is good in here as well. Oh my god, that's so thick. 
<laughs> That's really You can add good. more water if, if it's too thick for your liking. You probably could, but this would be really good in like a coffee. Wouldn't it? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And you know what's mm. funny is, uh, I think it's one of the brands, The Delicious or something, just came out with cashew milk. And I guarantee you they put like carrageenan in it and things yeah, like that. Yeah, when you so see the store-bought like ones, oh, there's so great. many, lo what's a locust bean? I don't know. Do I need that in my But I heard about them in a Bible and I don't want them in my <laughs> cashew milk. That's right. So and excellent. it's totally unnecessary. So we've so. got our cashew milk, so now we're going to use this to make our... Yep, and our... I'm going to make two different kinds two. of variables of different kinds. Excellent, things. excellent. Chemist. Chem listen to a chemist. Okay, so what's next? <laughs> okay. 